So, hey guys, Chaos are here. So I thought I'd start a new series on the channel where I just discuss different aspects of PvP. This first video will be beginner focused, but I'll try and uh, mix things up. It's meant to be every facet of PvP. So for this first video, I've talked with discuss how to team build as a beginner because let's face it it's rough to catch up in pvp so now i'm talking very early beginners that have barely played pvp so basically you set up an attack team start with that like defense teams are not unimportant but yeah attack is the main way you're going to get any points so you have eight teams to build and long term you want to diversify like if you look at mine my fifth team is like a booster team for Super Pyro Rumble. We're not going to talk about that today. But I got an in-team, which is mainly focused on Driven. I got a strength team I barely use anymore. I've been pl planning to rebuild it. I have a quick team that is mostly Driven focused. I have a Psy Free Spirit team here. I have a Dex team. I have a slasher team and I have a cerebral team that I never used, which I used for the PvP when Uta debuted and cerebral was very boosted. So yeah, basically the only ones I use is like slasher, dex, quick and int. So I basically just use four teams right now. I sometimes use the Cypher Spirit team. So yeah, as you see in my team, I have like 8 units in every team almost. But that's a lo long-term goal. The way PvP works is we have certain rare recruits. So not legends, for example, we can take this Kanjiro, who recently released on Global. He's a rare recruit, Power Rumble rare recruits. They can only be pulled on Power Rumble Sugo Fests, and they specialize in PvP. It doesn't mean that every PvP rare recruit is good, mind you. But yeah, these are long-term things. As a beginner, I don't really recommend pooling for PvP rare recruits. They are mainly needed long-term for if you want to rank in maybe the top 1000, top 500. And if you want to beat the harder Pyro Rumble challenges. But those, those challenges and the... Once I'm talking about now is if you go to the single match here. Uh, these challenges uh, are permanent. Only the first two difficulties, which are free, are time limited. So make sure you clear those like these two orange, for example. But the harder difficulties, they stay forever. So there's no rush to beat them. So let's get into how to team build. And I'd say as a beginner... Basically, you have to look at what you have, and you mainly want to look at what you have that is good. So if we take one at a time, if we take Int, the key unit for Int, I'd say, is the Moria. If you have Moria, you can consider building uh, an Int team. And the reason Moria is so good is because he has the half stats mechanic which is one of the most broken mechanics in pvp so i will never be in team without more as with him you're good and even int also has a lot of options like i'd say these are the strongest but not the only options so if we look here at int basically what i recommend when you're trying to find units is you click on them, like I know this combo can be used within teams. Look at the ability mainly. Do they buff int? So keep it simple. If they buff int, you can consider them. And what you want to do starting out is to build a core of five legends. So if you do int, you start with Moria, and then you see what you got. Like I know that Perona is good. I know that radio is good. I know that uh, Shanks isn't the best anymore, but it can be used. Category as well. Like we're talking beginner teams, you can get, get away with a lot. Like something like this 
You can throw together all of these boost into some capacity. So yeah, int. So you can always check the ability if you're uncertain. So I start with that and as for investing flags, I mainly invest them in the key unit. Like a unit like Moria will but he might not be the best eventually, but he's a sound investment. So funnel the int scrolls into units like him. As for strength, uh, if you have the kid, you can definitely consider strength. He is one of the biggest damage dealers in PvP and he can take out any unit basically. Uh, strength does have a problem though with building teams. It can be pretty rough, so I don't really recommend using strength for beginners. Uh, quick, I mainly build quick if you have both versus Akainu and the V2 Kaido. This core has been good for quick for a long time and they just never get bad. And there's quite a few quick units. Not that many that see a lot of use, but this Luffy for example can be used. Should probably go to this menu. I'll pick some that might be useful from past experience. This Luffy could be used. Maglan can be used. Zoro can be used. Uh, something like King is not optimal, but can be used. Probably category as well. Like these are just five units you could pair up together with your uh, Wii to Akain versus Akain and Wii to Kaido. Moving on for free spirit, I'd say the key unit here is the Yamato. Yamato is like Moria on steroids, both doing half stats to enemies as well as doing insane damage. So owning Yamato means you got a good starting position. And as you see, Yamato is pure Psy boosting. And if you happen to have this Odin as well, then it's a no-brainer. It's one of the most lethal combos in Pyro Rumble. But Psy really has a lot of options to build for. But I definitely not build Psy as a beginner, unless you have that Yamato. Other stuff to consider, let's see here. Uh, most of the loops are pretty bad for Psy. Something like uh, this Straw Hat Pirates unit. Roger and other Super Sugo can also be pretty good. I think Boa is fine for beginner teams. Uh, Versus Shanks is also okay for beginner teams, I think. Let's see if I miss something up here. Uh, nothing really that great. Uh, Jerma. Uh, might need to super evolve, so that's a bit iffy for beginners, I'd say. I wouldn't say they're a high target for super evolving. But yeah, so I didn't have as much as I thought. Like, a lot of them are 6+, plus, which I'm... Not too key to recommend for beginners, so to say. But yeah, some okay options. Moving on to decks, I'd say the key here is the Luffy. He's pretty insane. He gives insane stats to all teammates, especially himself. And he also, also gives a revive to one dex teammate. So you basically have 5.5 dex units on the team. On the starting team. Uh, I probably also want the cat. Otherwise you'd kind of lack damage output. And the Do Doflamingo is pretty good. But he's a 6 plus as well. And beginners will struggle with 6 plus units for some time. Yeah. Let's see if there's some other decent units. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Dex has a similar issue where a lot of the good stuff are 6+. plus. This or is pretty decent. The new 6+, plus or as well. Even the new Super... And is or as well. Uh, Kid is decent for beginners. Roblucci as well. 
The Super Sugola is decent. We've already looked at Cat Dog. Queen is decent. So yeah, as you see, there are some okay options to build around. So not too bad. Finally, we're going to talk a bit about... Oh, I removed one of my teams. I think this was the in-team that sucks. Eh, I'll just rebuild it. Uh, anyway, finally Slasher team. And I say this is probably the best beginner team. As long as you have Roger and Whitebeard. Like as a beginner, you should definitely reroll for this guy. Like, he will make your life easier in every mode in the game. And in terms of PvP, what makes him so good is basically he has two guaranteed kills when you when he uses his special. Like it's not 100% guaranteed, but most of the time they will kill two units when they use their special. And that's obviously very strong and reliable. But yeah, the only really good team you can build them with is Slasher, I'd say. Because otherwise they don't get buffs, because Roger Whitebeard is a duo unit, so they don't get type buffs. So even if Roger is int and Whitebeard is psi, they don't get int and psi buffs. So for Roger and Whitebeard to survive, it's best to go for a Slasher team. And there's some Slashers, like I'd say that mine is close to optimal. But honestly, it doesn't really matter that much what you pair them with. Uh, let's go here instead. Let's see here. Yeah, some other slasher options. Carrots. Even if you have the six star, carrot is okay. Uh... The Flamingo is fine. I think I had him on that team. Kisari is fine. Uh, even Shang's crew can be fine for a beginner. Kinemon Denjiro could also be fine, I presume. Uh, let's see if we have something down here as well. Yeah, even something right, Roger. See, so yeah, something like that. And like if you can't find, like you have to do the best of the situation basically. But in a future video I'll talk a bit about what teams you should face. But as long as you have one very strong unit maxed out, you should be able to beat a lot of teams at the lower levels of the ladder. But yeah, that's it for my debut uh, PvP guide video. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.